Hey everybody, Arnaldo Hoffman here of Gear It First. Before we continue with this video, I must let you know the following product you're about to see is not currently available in the U.S. due to FDA guidelines. Uh, hopefully in the near future, the product will be available in the U.S. Meanwhile, this is for those that are not bound by U.S. FDA guidelines, which is the rest of the world, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Hey everybody, Arnaldo Hoffman here of Gear It First. Today I want to talk to you about the Laser Cube from Wicked Lasers. Hang on. I know, a lot of you may be surprised to hear those words out of me. Reviewing anything from Wicked Lasers, you know in the past I've talked about laser responsibility and that in the wrong hands these products can be dangerous. I mean, that's really true for any laser. But in the last few years, Wicked Lasers has worked really hard to not only make their products a lot safer, which we'll go over in just a minute, but they're also working and making everything legal in the U.S. as well. So kudos to Wicked Lasers. What is the Laser Cube? It's a small box. It's a full powered one watt laser. Has everything that you need in it. You've got your laser projector itself. So you do have your galvos. You've got your actual diode in here. You have the actual control box. You do not need a separate control box. To control the laser, you can just plug it in via USB. It's got your connection for your power, it's got your interlock, your key, etc. But the sink could technically be probably maybe a couple inches smaller, but it isn't. Why? Because in these last few inches are batteries. There's a three hour battery in this. That's right. Full battery power, laser projector, super small, portable, lightweight. We'll go over construction in just a little bit. And I can't tell you that uh, there was a tripod mishap with one of the office tripods and this thing came crashing down about maybe five, six feet and it still works. So this thing is really well made. So let's talk about what the laser cube is, how you use it and why it's such a cool product here on Gear It First. So when you open a carry case, you do get a few different things depending on what you bought, what it comes with. This clamp is pretty dope. It allows you to attach your laser projector to any uh, type of beam. There are specific clamps for trussing that will also attach it as well. I'll put a link below that. You've got your interlock. It does come with an e-stop that you can get, uh, but I'm not going to use the e-stop for this video. Plus, you got your keys and you have a USB-A to USB uh, micro, or you could do a uh, USB-C, which it also comes with as well. Uh, let's look at the actual laser cube itself. Real quick, I, I really want to talk about the construction. All metal construction, no ugly labels, nothing like that. I already told you it has a USB, your key, your interlock, or your e-stop. Uh, you also have your power. Open this up, close aperture with glass and just really, really nice and jam packed in there. But you can see there's still quite a bit of breathing room in there. The batteries are a little bit on this side. Actually, let's go ahead and just kind of peek on the inside here so you can see what it looks like. These are two 7,000 milliwatt hour batteries, uh, making one 14,000 milliwatt uh, hour battery. It's a one watt laser at the minimum. Uh, basically it's broken down as 700 on blue, 100 on green and 150 on red. This is a little heavy on the blue. You will see when we do the white and there is, uh, you have to do some color correcting in my opinion to get a really, really nice white that you would expect. Otherwise it's a little bit more on the blue side. Uh, it is a uh, analog 33 kilohertz modulation with a scan speed of greater than 30,000 points per second at eight degrees. Uh, these are all measurements out of the aperture, not inside the aperture, with a max scan angle of uh, 32 degrees higher, a little bit bigger than that. Again, super small. Uh, again, since you guys are out, uh, this is a review outside of the US, uh, I'll just speak this in metric as the rest of the world should be. Uh, this is a basically 10 by 10 by 10 centimeter uh, cube. It's fantastic for not just really mobile use, but also installs. I just did a nightclub where we had zero room to add a laser and they wanted to add a laser in there, but there just wasn't a lot of the way the ceilings were angled. Uh, this would have been a great way to be able to sneak a laser in there and still have the beam high enough that it would be a safe above everybody's heads. 
super lightweight and only 1.4 kilograms. Uh, it is variable voltage because it's a DC power supply. So uh, the power supply can be you know, 100 to 240 volts. That's not out of the ordinary with a one year warranty. Now, uh, there are a couple different softwares you can run on this. It does come with Laser OS, which is a free software that comes with it. It can run on your Windows. It can run on Mac. Let me make this very clear. This software can run on Mac. Yeah, and it can even run on Android, double yeah, but not yet on iOS. <laughs> but I think that's an iOS limitation more than anything else. You can also use it with uh, Laser Show Gen, Maxwell, Modulaser, and Laser Show Express. Uh, their API is open. So, and we'll talk about LaserDoc in a different video, but this is using the LaserDoc technology. So we'll, uh, I'll mention that in another video, but uh, it is an open API. So anybody that wants to develop for it, from what I understand, can. You can also get this tripod here. This is actually a, a damn good tripod. Um, so it's just very simple, nice, easy to adjust head. So let's get that. There we go, and let's go ahead and put this together. Let's fire it up. Okay, so right now this is the image, uh, pretty much wide open. Again, ignore the gaps or any flickering. That's just part of the way that you know camera picks up the laser. But in person, super smooth, nice, complete image. Really want to point out that it's a super bright laser, but very heavy on the blue. Uh, you know, it's just easy to correct. If I actually go into my color settings on Laser OS, and I'll be doing more videos on this later. I'm gonna go to manual. I'm actually gonna bring the blue almost down to, my goodness, maybe 30%. And now you'll see that I have a nice even white. So for all intents and purposes of this review, I am gonna keep it on this particular color balance. I just think it looks, it looks a little bit better that way. Now the whiter usually looks even more crisp than that. But as I mentioned before, this laser has been torture tested where it was accidentally dropped, fell about five or six feet. It still works great. It's just a slightly misaligned there, uh, but it still looks phenomenal. So I'm gonna show you a little bit on that as well here. Uh, let's go ahead and go into just a couple of the graphics and stuff. The following videos that you're about to see are done with Laser OS. So you're gonna see the way that this renders the graphics. It's not just because of the laser, but also because of Laser OS. Uh, you can add more and more and more images. And what it does is instead of giving a lot more blanking or flickering rather, it just degrades the image a little bit. You'll see in a minute what I mean by that. But the trade-off is that you're gonna get complete images versus having that flickering and so forth. So I'm actually, uh, let's go ahead and zoom out of there. So let's do the zoom halfway. You can see that some of these patterns here with the dancers and so forth, it has a nice clean look to them. Okay, so if you look at Jinx right now, this is pretty much what it looks like in person. You can see almost a little bit of a pulse there, but there's none of that flickering, any of that silliness in there that you know most people don't like about lasers. Is that the more complex an image you have, the more flickering there's going to be. Laser OS, not necessarily the laser itself. It's Laser OS does not do that. You know, look at this beautiful Kakuna uh, Licky Tongue, which is a more complex one to draw. There is no flickering whatsoever. What Laser OS does is. It just degrades the image a little bit. So every now and then you may actually see where there should be blanking, there isn't. You know, unless you're a laserist, you're not gonna notice it. The average person will not notice that. Now, as far as the laser itself, it does it beautifully. I mean, look at the colors, look how it, you know, actually here's a great one with a, a filter here. And you can just see the colors on Pidgeotto, or Pidgeotto as it goes from that light blue to red. And there's a little of that green and stuff in between, but if you look at that cyan, that light blue, it's really blue, whatever you want to call it, it's just a beautiful color on it. Uh, All right, so let's take a look here at the beam from the side for the Pidgeotto. But look at those beautiful cyan colors, that nice rich red, not something that I was expecting out of a laser of this size, really. I would say price, but hopefully when this makes it, if this makes it in the US, you know, with all the regulations, everything we have, I don't know what that's going to cost, to be honest with you. So I cannot tell you, oh, it's gonna be this and this price or whatnot. You know, what's cool is Laser OS has a lot of great sound active shows. Uh, these are some that you're hearing right now. 
Uh, if we go into like, for example, this one here, which is like a little disc, it just goes to whatever, you know, the beat of the music is, or in this case, it's my voice. But the laser does a beautiful job of being able to fade in and fade out of those colors. Uh, let's see, there's another option there. So you can really see that really pretty separation. It's just a liquid sky that anybody would be proud to have. And that's with all the lights on right there. The staff is doing some work. And uh, all the lights on over there, it's bleeding in here. But you can see that even after I had to dial down the aperture so it looks darker in here, those colors are just popping beautifully. All right, so we've got some white laser beams going over here. And again, I have to mention that the divergence on the laser may be a little bit skewed because the laser was dropped. So it is definitely a bit misaligned. You can see a little bit where the red is separate from the blue. Uh, but in reality, considering this laser was dropped and everything, I mean, the, the colors are great. You can see the whites there. And you can just see those beautiful, tight, crisp beams. Of course, I'm speaking in relativity to the size of the laser to the price. You know, if I was comparing this to a, you know, $10,000 laser, of course, a $10,000 laser is probably going to have a few more features and a much better quality and divergence than this one does. This laser is smaller than a traditional DJ parking. So the fact that you're able to get these kind of colors, beams, movement out of it, it just looks great. Now, I am going to brag a little bit about Laser OS. So let's kind of talk a little bit about how that works. Uh, let's go ahead and add some text and it's really going to show you what it does. That rather than adding flickering, what it's going to do is it's going to degrade the image. So let's just go ahead and go into gear at first. And there is gear at first. Look how great that looks. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw. So let's just do kind of like a little rectangle around gear at first. Okay, you can see that it's already kind of weakening a little bit, right? And the more I add, let's go ahead and add. Now you can see how it kind of got weaker and you can almost see how the letters interact with the pointer as I move around in it. But now if I add this, you can really see how the letters just, again, the whole image degrades. These are no longer as, you know, nice and crisp and pointy as they were. Now it's kind of rounding out. And as I add another one and another one and another one, the image gets sloppier, but there is no flickering. But the laser cube is for specifically people that want to play around with lasers or perhaps a club that needs a really small overall throw. Uh, perhaps you are a mobile DJ not based in the US that wants a really powerful laser and they don't want a big giant unit to hang. Just something that's low maintenance, low key. The battery power is really nice to have too, as you can see here. Or maybe you just want to have fun with lasers in your room and not spend your entire, you know, three or four paychecks on one laser unit. It's perfect for that. You're talking a laser that hits both the hobbyist and the professional at a great price point with some great features and an incredible size. Again, if you're expecting the power and you know even some of the colors that you're gonna get of a laser that's 10 times 20 times the price no that's not gonna happen but honestly i don't know why i say that about colors because the colors on this laser are just absolutely beautiful and could this be the future of lasers are we gonna see laser projectors getting smaller and smaller without losing features I certainly hope so. I'm really impressed again, by the way, that they put everything together, that it's not super crammed. You know, I thought opening this up, it was gonna be a nightmare, just squished up cables. And no, I mean, they've just have done a phenomenal job. And that's not just saying that the big laser projectors out there are wasting space. You know, there's obviously a reason that those are bigger, these are smaller, but the fact that the technology can be this small, this compact really says, a lot of where the laser industry is going and I'm really excited about it. So again, if you're not in the US, head over to lasercube.com. You gotta check it out. The price is just phenomenal for everything that you get. Thanks so much for watching. Good night and God bless. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Gear it first, 
honest reviews, incredible gig logs, lots of tips and tricks, and more tutorials than any other YouTube channel. I guarantee it or your money back.